Welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I am Queen Von Say. Okay, you guys. So, it's day five, and it is September 28th, 2022, okay? And the current time is 8.59 a.m. So, this is what I was thinking. (laughs) I was thinking um, today I would like to do something um, for the um, platform regarding soulmates. And I love uh, a situation involving a soulmate. I don't really know about everybody else, but I love it. I embrace it. Some people believe in it. Some people don't. But your girl, fully. So that's something that I wanted to share with you guys and see how you guys feel about it. Um, This is still magic in the making. (laughs) And um, like I said, it's day five, y'all. And... um, Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to go in order and um, everything um, regarding the soulmate reading will have to do with the sign of Aries today. So I pretty much got the way I want the cards to come out. Um, I guess I'll just wing it like I've been doing pretty much everything else moving forward. So, um, here we go. I do have my, um, love incense burning and I got the, um, intuition candle. I know y'all can't see it, but this is the, um, intuition candle. So I got that burning for us. And then I got the manifestation candle burning for us as well. And I did burn some sage, you know. Just to clear out all the the energies and things of that nature and allow the energies that need to come in for this segment to be available. So I did do that for you guys. So let's get started. Um gonna be doing a reading for the sign of Aries involving the soulmate. Okay, so this right here, you guys, this hasn't changed. Um, We're going to still start off with the gratitude cards to kind of set the tone for the reading. So we're going to pull one card out for the Aries regarding the soulmate. Okay. universe can I get one card for the Aries regarding their soulmate dang did y'all see that (laughs) I like when that happens all right let's see Okay, okay, Aries. All right, all right. So this is what came up of the Aries regarding their soulmate. I don't know. If... And I'm gonna read it. It says, "I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought, and that gratitude is the happiness doubled by wonder." Um, Aries so I think that's pretty cool to um, start y'all reading off um, regarding the soulmate so that was that (laughs) okay now 
I would like to use these next. Okay, the more calm, less stress, just to kind of continue with the softness and calmness in order to allow the, um, you know, the information that we need to come in slowly, gently, you know, like that. Just make it, you know. Universe, can I get one card for the Aries regarding the soulmate? Universe, can I get one? That's cool. Okay, Aries. What came out for you for more calmness, less stress, it says every breath we take, every step we make can be filled with peace, joy, and serenity. I'll be watching you. That's a song. Oh my goodness, I want to know, I want to know the connection. Hold on, you guys, I'm, I'm going to pause the video just so I can um, look up that song, just to see if it's a connection, because it could be, and I know sometimes on YouTube, you can't really play the music without, you know, People coming for you, copyright, all this and that. So just give me a second, you guys, and I'll be right back. And this time I'll make sure I pause it instead of stopping it. <laughs> One moment, um, Aries. OMG. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you guys was able to make that connection quicker than I did. But... That was crazy, Aries. That was crazy. That was crazy. I listened to both versions of that song that I, that was going through my head. The, I listened to the first one that was by the police. Um, every step you take, y'all, please, y'all might want to go look that up. And, um... I listened to the one by um, Puffy and them, Puffy Biggie Smalls and them. I listened to their version too. And naturally, I, I knew, you know, Puffy's them, you know. <laughs> and I knew that one too because the police one, you know, I knew that one as well. I just knew Aries. This is amazing that. We're talking about soulmates and connections for you guys. And this card popped out, y'all. This this card popped out. Any other card could have popped out. And then I'm like, what? Let me let me check and see what that song means. Y'all go check. Man. Man, day five, y'all. Day five. Queen Vance in the building, and believe me, I don't. I, I'm not here alone. I got, I got a whole spiritual tribe behind me, leading me through this. Please believe it. I ain't doing this by myself. But it's just so amazing that. Any car could have came out. Any car could have came out. But this one, and then what we talking about, Aries? <sighs> Some of the um, words from the song, if you guys aren't in a position to um, Google it, 
on you you on YouTube, damn it, you can do it. <laughs> Listen, some of the words was, I'll be watching you. Been gone, been lost since you've been gone. Um, can't you see? Um, you belong to me. Uh, like everything you do. <laughs> they, they, all oh, it was just, I'm like, oh my God. So, so in other words, Aries, your soulmate, it's possible your soulmate is definitely in the picture. Watching every step you take, every move you make. Now, whether that's um, in the past, the present, or in the future, or whether you lost a soulmate, whatever the case may be, Aries. Oh, your soulmate is definitely in the building today. All right. So, um, let's get started. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I am so excited. Thank you so much um, for that um, universe. That was beautiful. Okay. So, I want to read it just one more time, Aries. Every breath we take, every step we make can be filled with peace, joy, and serenity, okay? So, this is how I want to do it. Um, it may change because this is still new, but this is kind of how I want to try to do it anyway. Um... I want to do like three cards, you guys, and one card will be for the past soulmate, Aries, and the second one will be for the present soulmate, and the third one would obviously be for the future soulmate, okay? So, that's how we're going to do it. For you, Aries, regarding your soulmate. All right. Okay, universe. Can I please get three cards only for Aries regarding the soulmate connection? Universe, can I please get three cards only for the Aries regarding the soulmate connection? Thank you. Um, geez, I'm thinking, should I put that over there? Universe, can I please get two more cards for the Aries regarding the soulmate? Okay, you guys. Universe, can I please just get one more card for the Ah, mm. yeah, it did that. Okay, you guys. So I can't see none of these cards. I don't know what they are. And this one flew way over here. These two flew way over here, you guys. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the full card. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, we we gonna get to that in just a second here. All right, so these two cards flew way over here, and da da da. I'm gonna pull these two for Aries regarding the soulmate. Okay. Okay. So those last cards, but I pulled those first for some reason. It says the um, Ace of Swords in the upright position, number one. Okay. But then we have the World card in the reverse. Okay. Aries regarding the soulmate. Now, um, I want to do this one. I don't know why. Okay. Aries, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight 
of cups because i know sometimes it sounds like i say nine but i'm saying the knight of cups regarding the soulmate in the upright position and then regarding the soulmate um aries we have the ace of cups okay in the upright position so i'm wondering I'm wondering because all your cards came up, Aries regarding the soulmate, um, in the upright position, except for the world card. Mm. Huh. I'm gonna definitely keep it right now. So. Regarding the soulmate, um, Aries, we have um, one here, we have air here, we have um, tw 21, we have, um, you can break, you know, separate it, one and two, then over here we have one, huh, I like, I like this, I don't even know what I like about it, but I like this already, we got water, water and air we got water and air and a little earth well a lot of earth at the major arcana so what are you trying to tell me and we have the full or air 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 okay so one two three all right so we got three airs we can't see the air we can feel the air <laughs> but we can't see it so for me, although you can't see your soulmate, um, Aries, you can feel, you can, it's possible you can feel they present. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> we have these two cars flew way over here. Them two. And these two over here. And I said past, present, and future. So I don't, I'm I, this is empty, Aries. There's nothing right here. It's possible some of you could had a. Uh, Mm hmm Yeah. Some of you in the past, Aries. Y'all lost y'all y'all lost y'all soulmate. Some of you in the past. And right here it says seeking personal closure. Shortcuts, delays, no closure, incompletion. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all areas in the past, y'all lost, 
Y'all, y'all lost y'all soul, man. They was cut out for a reason. I mean, not for a reason, but they was cut out for some reason. With this sword being here. Aries, they was cut out. And with this surgery right here, yeah, your soulmate was was cut out your life. And it says seeking personal closure. You had you had no you had no closure. You had no closure. When they left, you, you feel incomplete without them. Some of you, um, Aries. Some of you, Aries, right now in the present, I don't feel at this moment is um, dealing with a, um, a soulmate currently. Because it, it was like when them cars flew that way and I put these this way, it's like leave space right here. Leave space right here. Because for some of the um, Aries, they're not presently dealing with the soulmate. Uh, you guys, just the, the love um, in sin went out. I just want to try to keep that burning. Okay. Um, sorry about that. So. Although this space right here is empty for the Aries in the present, for those of you for those of you who desires to have a connection with a soulmate. Now, right now, um, I don't know. I feel like for those of you who, who would, you Aries who would like to have a connection in the present with a soulmate. Um, I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thoughts in that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. So if some of you Aries in the present moment would like to have a connection with your soulmate, because we all have one, and we have more than just one, for those of you who don't know that. Um, it's it, your thoughts. Your thoughts are, um, you can pull in that connection with your thoughts. 
Father saw me. But just make sure those who who desire or seek a soulmate connection areas in the presence, you guys in the parent present, because this was it was open. But for those of you who, who want it, who desire it, your thoughts is what's gonna bring it to you. But just be careful because you don't want to bring something to you that that wasn't necessarily ready to come to you. That's why I feel like this was open. So, because you could you could bring you could bring in a soulmate that's not the right one at this particular time for you. So. I would just wait on the divine for those of you who, who may, you Aries who may want a connection. But it's totally up to you. The choice is yours. I'm just saying. All right. Now, you, um, you Aries, the future, as far as your soul may go, They're coming. <laughs> you Aries, as far as your soulmate goes, they're coming. And um, the way it, the way it looks to me is like you guys been waiting. You guys been waiting on your your soulmate. Probably tired of, you know, some of you Aries, and they coming. <laughs> you have the Ace of Cups um, in the upright position, love, compassion, creativity, new feelings, spirituality, intuition, new baby, proposal, marriage. Your soulmate is coming in, Aries. And bringing you a lot of love. You've been missing. You've been longing for it. They coming. They coming. Um, the knight. The knight of cups in the upright position. Creative, more creativity. Romantic. Charm. Ooh, imagination, beauty, knight in shining armor, following the heart, Prince Charming. Oh, he going to be the shit. He going to be the shit. Your soulmate, Aries, going to be the shit. And, <laughs> and what you don't see at the bottom of the deck. The fool, you don't see it coming, and you're gonna you're gonna fall right into it happily. Plop. <laughs> you're gonna fall right into it. You're gonna fall right into it. New beginnings, possibilities, innocence, spontaneous, spontaneous, spontaneous. I'm sorry, optimistic. Truth in life, blind faith, adventure, opportunities, pleasure. Oh, yeah, you ready for words. You like, oh, hallelujah. You're going to fall right into it. You're going to fall right into it, Aries. Your soulmate is coming and finna change your whole world around. Ah, change your whole world around. See, this uh, world card is in the reverse. Your soulmate coming. Aries, and you're going to change your whole world around. Your whole world around.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I like it. Okay, I was just thinking because I know a lot of times um, um, Aries, I'm sorry, um, past Aries, I'm sorry. I just looked over here again. Past Aries. Um you those of you who lost your soulmate, they was cut out of your your world. Everything you do, everything you say, every move you take, they watching you. They watching you, Aries who lost a soulmate in the past. They watching you. Everything you doing, every move you take, everything, they watch you. And um, you can talk to them. <laughs> you can talk to them. You can talk to them. And they will respond to you. Because they watching you. They not gone. It's just it's just like I said. It's all this air is here. We can't see air. But we can feel it. So. For those of you Aries. Who lost a soulmate. Talk to them. Talk to them. They there. They waiting. They watching everything you doing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I I don't know why I didn't say that earlier. Okay, cause I'm this day five and I'm still learning. That's why. I don't know everything yet. I'm I'm a baby in this. <laughs> I'm a newcomer, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right, so seeing that we're talking about the soul mates and um, these cards are the soul's journey lesson cards. So this is obviously going to be my first time using these cards. I have no idea what they really even about, but it had soul on them. So I felt like grab that, buy that, get that. <laughs> so I did. And um, we gonna we gonna learn together. We going through this whole process together, y'all. All right. Oh, this is pretty the way it looks on the back. I like the colors. All right, um, universe. Can I get um? Three cards for past, present, and future regarding the airy soulmate, please. Universe, can I please get three cards regarding the Aries past, present, and future soulmate? I don't know if that wants to jump out or not. Oh, that, that, there you go. Can I get two more cards for the Aries regarding? Oh, that it fell right here, so maybe that's for that. Universe, can I get 
two more cards for the Aries regarding their soulmate, either from the um, the past or the future, please. Can a universe can I get two more cards for the Aries regarding their soulmate? Is there anything? Ooh. Universe, is there anything? I don't think so, y'all. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it is. Which way do this go? I think here. All right. So, all right, okay, universe. Can I get one more for the pet? So y'all see that? Oh. 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 Okay, y'all. So at the bottom of the deck, it says friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And automatically what I'm getting um, from this is when I said we have more than one soulmate, um, Aries, a soulmate, it, a soulmate could be a, a connection, a strong connection that you have with a friend. A soulmate could be um, a strong connection that you have with your sibling. Like it's not always... Um, a romantic connection when it comes to the soulmate Aries and and I don't know if everybody is aware of that but with this card coming out it's it could be telling me that um some of you Aries um either have um soulmates and just don't know they're they're um your friends Okay, so I want to um, pull this one because this one, um, this one came out over here and it says grief. And that's why I was like, oh, because here the Aries had lost a soulmate in the past and then this grief came out. So I kind of feel this for you guys. And it says, I understand that losing someone is an opportunity to appreciate. And that is, oh my God, that is so true. Because you never know what you got until it's gone. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Mm -hmm. Um, dang, God till it's gone. Okay, I sound better in the shower to myself, but um, who's saying that God till it's oh no, seems to go, and you don't know what you got till it's gone. I'm not going to pause it. I am going to pause it. I'll be right back. I got to see what that's talking about. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, yeah, um, it was definitely the one that I was thinking about was the, the, the Janet Jackson one. Um, God until it's gone. Um, and she talks about dreams, loved ones, turn back the hands of time. Oh, yeah, I've wanted to listen to the whole song then i also realized that it was another version by some guy named cinderella i had never heard of him but you know that may be significant to some some out there but um yeah yeah and 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 that's true we don't even understand what we have until it's gone and i can definitely relate to that I lost someone as well, you know, um, wasn't able to say goodbye, you know, and, um, 
So I get it. I understand. And you do learn to appreciate everything that person instilled in your life. Yeah. Yeah, Aries. Grief is understanding that losing someone is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah. 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 And it's not saying we didn't appreciate that person when they was in our life. I think it just be one of them situations where they be like, we take everything in life for granted. We take everything in life for granted, man. The simple things. We take we take um, smiling for granted. It's some people who ain't even got muscles in their face. It's a term, too. I forgot it. Um, I ain't worked at the CNA in a long time. But um, they can't even smile. They might want to smile. They might be smiling on the inside, but on the outside, they face. You know, they, they can't even see it. And those are the things that we do every day. Every day. And don't even appreciate it. But then when it's gone, it's like, you know, that's when we learn to appreciate things. But let me um move on. So this card here that was in the um the open spot. Mmm. Mmm. So this fell out right here. In the in the middle when there was nothing there, and it's interesting to me because Aries, it says relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. <laughs> right, Aries, because remember, although this was empty, nothing came out for you guys regarding us all, mate. But I had pulled this down, remember? And I was like, the soulmate might not be here right now for a reason. But if you desire to have that relationship, Aries, just um, thank your thoughts. I was like, your thoughts. And you'll... You'll get it, but just make sure the person is for your higher good because you don't want to attract your soulmate that's not the right one for you. So I think this was perfect for you. Thank you so much, universe, uh, for assisting me through this journey because y'all need to know this isn't me. I can barely pronounce this stuff on these goddamn cars. <laughs> But I'm trying. This is day five, y'all. Y'all have to understand, this is not me doing this at all. You, you present Aries desired a relationship with your soulmate. And it says relationship right here. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Wow, I'd be amazed at this stuff right here. I do. Okay. And then this one. Uh-oh. Mmm. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, so when I first looked at this, it said denial. It says denial. And if um at first I thought it said denied. That's why I was like, yeah. I told y'all work in progress. But it says um denial right here. And I feel like what this is saying, remember I said future um Aries who wants a connection with their soulmate, they coming. They coming, and it's gonna be everything you want. But you may be in denial 
you may feel like it's never going to happen for me. When is they coming? And and don't put that out there in the universe. If you want um, your soulmate to come, speak on it. Speak their existence. But they coming anyway. But just don't delay it by being in denial of what it is that your heart desires, um, Aries, okay? I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. That's what this say. It's coming. It's coming. If it is, it's coming. It's coming, you Aries. It's coming. Okay. I like this, y'all. I like this. Thank you so much, um, universe, for guiding me in the right direction. Um, for the soulmate. For the Aries. Okay. All right, you guys, so we have the Manifest Soulmate Oracle Cards. And um, I'm going to just ask the um, universe just to give me three cards only, please, for the Aries regarding the soulmate. Woo! Did y'all see that? <laughs> I be saying that like, because I'm not looking at the, I'm looking here. I'm not looking. Ah, shit, you know, I'm sorry. Okay, that's that way. Thank you so much for that universe. Can I get another card for the Aries regarding the soulmate universe? Can I? And I feel like this one goes this way, y'all. I just do. I don't know. Thank you so much for that universe. Can I please just get one more for the present Aries regarding the soulmate? Universe, can I get just one more card for the Aries regarding the present soulmate? Universe, do you have anything for me for the Aries? Regarding the present soulmate. The one I was able to see. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. The one I was able to see. Oh, at the bottom of the deck. Aries, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. Aries, at the bottom of the deck, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. Oh, oh sugar. Okay, y'all, this went out again. These love, these love incense are Jeez, come on. Y'all, I got these love incense from the hair store. <laughs> In case y'all wondering. So, y'all can get these, I guess, pretty much anywhere. But I got these particular ones from um, the hair store here where I live. And I think you get like 10 for a dollar or something like that. I don't know. I can't. I just be buying shit like I'm rich. <laughs> okay. Right here. So this one came right here and I was able to see it. So it's for the um, present um, Aries regarding their soulmate. And it says, you guys, let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. Okay. Let things come. So, your soulmate, he coming, she coming, they just not here right now. Let things come and go. So, the ones that probably was in your life, you know, they, you had to let them go or they came and they went, so they wasn't the one. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. 
I think that was perfect for you guys, you um, Aries that's seeking a connection um, with your soulmate here in the present, but it's just not here yet. Just wait for it. It's coming. I want to see what this one say. I got candle wax everywhere. Okay. This says for the the um, Aries that had lost a soulmate in the past, it says never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Ain't that some shit? Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. That's what it says. And what I'm feeling is like, oh, shit. oh I didn't mean to do that. And what I'm feeling like, Aries, it could be because you lost somebody. You could be having feelings. You could be in certain situations. Um, you could be in certain situations just because of the type of feelings that you're in. And depending on what that situation is, it could do some permanent damage because you're not thinking clearly at the time because of could be still in um, grieving. I get that. I get that. I hope you guys get that. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Aries that lost a soulmate in the past. You could be seeking your soulmate, looking for him. In a lot of different situations and it's not it's not there. That's, that's not it. Continue to, um, if you're not already Aries that lost a, a soulmate in the past, communicate with them. Communicate with them and they'll send the right person to you at the right time. Yeah, you can still be in the grieving stage. Talk to, talk to, talk to, talk to the one you lost. They'll send, they'll send you what, they'll send the right thing to you at the right time. Oh. Oh, Aries, that uh, has the future soulmate on the way. This is what you got. It says, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. So, you, um, Aries, who are seeking uh, a soulmate that's coming well that's coming for you guys in the future you may feel like I'm not good enough I'm not da -da -da. why why can't I have love da -da -da. that's what I'm saying it is the denial and it's, it's the criticism like you fucking up everything that you want to come to you by by being the way that you is stop that goofy shit dog and this this man this woman they coming and your ass gonna be a fucking fool in love, he's just a fool. No, you ain't love. Sometime you, who are you? No, he better be a good man. No, he's gonna be a good man, but I'm just saying, stop, stop doing that stuff. You're not being a good woman or a good man to yourself, denying yourself like this and criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Aries, you don't need to change anything about you. Your soulmate gonna love you for who you are. 
But maybe you need to learn to love yourself for who you are. Maybe that could be what's stopping this this night of cups coming for you. I said night, you guys, not nine. A cup's coming for you. Work on that shit, dog. Aries, I'm sorry. Okay. You guys, we have the um, Dark Angel Michael cards. And this is, um, I wanted to use these just for protection over you guys, connection with you guys, soulmate. That's why I want to use these cards. Universe, can I get just, um, can I get just three cards for the Aries regarding the soulmate connection? Universe, can I get just three cards for the Aries? Woo. Here we go. It came right over here. Thank you so much for that. Universe, can I get two more cards? Oh, shit. <sighs> here's, the, here's the weird shit. Here's the weird shit. Two of them face down in my hand over here. But then we also got these three face down over here. And I don't know what the hell to do. But I'm going to put these three here. And I'm going to put these three over here. And all these other cards that's just... Uh, you guys thought I can't stand cluttered. And y'all just cluttered it up so very badly. Oh, I can't stand it. Messy. All right. At the bottom of the deck, it says, use your imagination and you'll see the answers. Um, Aries seeking a soulmate connection. So I want to go over here, you guys. And the card for the um, Aries that lost the um, soulmate in the past. It says, believe and trust, okay? From Archangel Michael. It says, believe and trust. It says, my prayers. Before going to sleep tonight, say, excuse me, I don't know what I'm burping for, I ain't eight. Um, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Yeah, you guys might need that in your life in order to move on, to move forward. Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength courage and confidence believe and trust that's the prayer that um, Archangel Michael has for you guys over here who lost the um, soulmate in the past these three cards came out you guys for the um, Aries that's seeking to have a connection in the present with the soulmate Oh, okay. All these came, these two right here, you guys, they in the reverse position, right? So I'm feeling like I shouldn't use them and I'm going to put them away and not even reading them. So I don't know what they say, but I want to take the one in the top that was in the right position. Uh, it says from Archangel Michael. Take your time making decisions. Okay, that's what it says. My prayers, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. Okay. Yep. There's nothing else to, there's the, there's nothing else left to say after that. 
take your time making this decision. Yeah, it's going to come. There's no rush. What's for you is for you. It's not going to go anywhere. No one can take it from you. The only person can fuck that up, Aries, is you. Bottom line. Okay, so both of these cards was actually in the upright position. So I'm going to just take both of them. So this one says, did I show you guys this card? I don't know if I did or not. For the ones that's seeking a um, present relationship with their soulmate, Aries. So um, this one says, from Archangel Michael, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities, enjoy a um, healthful, healthful, happy life. Sorry, you guys. That's what it says for you, Aries. For the future soulmate coming in. So you and your loved ones are safe. It's coming. Please help me feel secure. And at peace. And fill me with faith so I may focus on my priorities. And enjoy a healthful life. A healthful a happy life. This is so little. God knows I don't wear glasses. Maybe I need to this reading. I don't know. Okay. You, Archangel Michael, you created this situation and you have the power to change. <laughs> Oh, this what this card say. It says you created this situation and you have the power to change it. In Aries, future Aries, seeking a relationship uh, with your um, soulmate. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. You created it. By um, criticizing yourself and thinking you wasn't worthy. You created this situation by being in denial of what is for you. You did it. And as it says, you created this situation and you have the power to change it, okay? And what did I say? Stop doing that shit that you're doing. <laughs> if you want this um, soulmate to come in and he ready. He ready. He ready to be everything it is you want, Aries. So stop. <sighs> thank you for letting me learn on your, thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal powers. Please guide me to manifest and heal accordingly to the divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. Exactly. Enough said. You know what you need to do, and if you didn't, now you do. You can thank me now. No, I'm just kidding. All right, you guys. Um, we're getting close to the end, and I don't know why, but I wanted to close the reading out um, for the soulmate connection for the Aries with this um, these oracle cards. And it was really just based on how it looked. Like, I liked how it looked. <laughs> so I was like, maybe this will be nice to um, end out the reading for the soulmate connection for the Aries. So let's see what come out. <laughs> Keep in mind, these cards are new. And um, I don't know what they say like that so um universe can I just get one card oh shoot 
And here it go. What does that say? There it go. Okay. It's the the letters are <sighs> Lord Universe, just help me. <laughs> just help me. Just help me. Okay, the, at the bottom of the deck, it says prosperity begins. Aries, for those of you seeking soulmate connections, prosperity begins. It's at the bottom of the deck. You guys just can't see it yet. And then the one that flipped out to end the, um, the reading, it says authority. And it's the number four. I don't like the way they, they break the words out. Okay, but it says authority. So let's, I don't know. Well, we know what authority means. We all know what authority means. I mean, I can easily say take authority over the situation at hand in each and every one of y'all specific um, situations. Which would really be valid too. Yeah, that 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 would be valid. Take authority. Yeah. Cause this situation over here in the past needs a little attention. This one right here in the middle needs a little attention. And this one right here on the end definitely a lot of attention. But this is the one that got the most shit coming to him and fucking it up. Take authority. So let's just read. What that what that means? I know, I, well, I said what I think it means, but with these oracle cards, let's see what they say it means. Okay, okay. So four could be significant to the situation, and it says, um, "Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot." <sighs> Do I gotta read all of this? This card represents the masculine qualities of leadership, logic, strength, wisdom, and power. When this card emerges, it acts as a teaching tool. And in so, and in so doing, it is encouraging you to develop a regimen, these qualities, and tap into your masculine aspects of yourself. Other traits also include our good reasoning and problem-solving skills. Being being grounded in learning to develop strong mental control over free reigning most reigning emotions. Oftentimes, this card appears to symbolize a father figure or an individual of wise authority who may be present in your life. It could be something of a high influence in business. Or a prudent friend who uses logic and reason to create a positive outcome. Ask yourself whether it's time to take on and emulate, emulate similar qualities. Now is when you act like a leader and exert your will by incorporating forms and structures, structure into ideas, plans, and foundations. It's time to stop talking and act in order to achieve what you must. Use the qualities and characters of authority card so that when you need to make a choice, you approach it from a place of wisdom, rationality, logic, and grace rather than one of the foolishness, the greed or self-centeredness. I'm not even going to go there. The way in which you acquire <laughs> handling powers and authorities is not being tested. Belligerence, belligerence, belligerence. That's what the word that I got down. These aren't words that I use on a daily basis, y'all, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I, show, I skipped right over that like, uh-uh. But then I came back to it. It's like, stop playing with yourself. But one thing I have always been told in... 
<laughs> one thing I've always been told is that, well, when I was brought up, it was put this way. It said, God will use anybody who's open and willing. God will even use a fool if they open and willing to um, be an example for others or show show others the way. And the only reason why I laughed is because this I have this book right here. And the fool card is right here on this book as well as right there. That fool, I'm like, God damn it. God damn it. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I am who I am. But right now, for you guys, um, this is your life. And I am Queen Von Shay. Stay Von. But you know what? I'm going to edit that. I'm going to edit that. We're going to fix that up. We're going to, yeah, we're going to edit that. Queen Vance, and I'm out.